What's up everybody, it's your host Claire Jagoon, and I have got some Town Hall 9 baby drag love for you guys today. I've got a couple examples of that in this war against, uh, I guess an Arabic clan of some kind. I can't pronounce her name. But as you can see here, this base has centralized air, which is the first thing that made me think of baby drag. Um, although the, the expos are up, um, I'm planning on getting those in my kill squad. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to I'm going to lock my goalies on right here. Going to wall break into this point. Going to jump spell over this wizard box right on that wizard tower and it's going to get me into this core with the town hall and I'm going to try to get all four of these air defense down. Once I do that, I'll just baby drag the rest. So let's see how it worked out. And this is only my second baby drag attack, so uh, it went really well. I was really happy with it. So I've been I've been looking for centralized uh, uh, centralized air in bases uh, with this attack. So every time I really get a chance to 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 use it, I do. I I really like doing it. It's something different. I, I do a lot of ground attacks, and it's just really fun. I do a lot of loon attacks, but very rarely do I mix up the troop composition. Uh, so it's it's really fun to me to do this. But anyway, as you can see, I dropped another rage. The king has used his ability. He's cutting through these bows. The core is gone right now. And look, those boulders are going to take out this last air defense. And look at that. It's going to be baby drag time right now. And here comes my drags. And I'm going to be very careful to place them where they can rage. And right there, I dropped some loons to take out that uh, archer tower so my drags can, can not be uh, hit. For a little bit and as you can see everything's just working right into the core now see these drags quit rage and they're too close together so of these so you want them to rage as as long as possible but but here you go as you can see it's pretty much overwhelming at this point uh, i'm going to speed it up just a little bit because it's a wrap guys and that is some baby drag love right there for you now mine was a more conventional attack um, it was a shattered entry, but I want you to take a look at Aaron's baby drag attack, and this one's really cool. He's got five healers. He's got a ton of baby drags, and let's just take a look and see how he handles this. So here he goes. He's going to start with a queen's charge into this base, and there you go. He's he's uh he's eqing. And you guys can see right now what he's doing, right? He's he's using this drag to funnel his queen over here. And she's going to walk around and hit all this. Come in here and deal with the king. And her goal is to take out all four of these air defense. So let's, let's check out and see. And Aaron's got four rage and they're all for that queen probably. And this baby drag done done its job. The queen is now ready to go into the hole. And here comes the king. He's going to pose a little bit of threat, but he's a small king, so Aaron plays it cool right here and just lets his queen beat him down. And here you go. She's going in the pocket just like he wanted. Now there's going to be a time crunch on this just because the queen's got to do a lot of work here. So here she's going to take out uh, the CC. And he has to just keep an eye on this queen because, man, it could be trouble. So he had to use her ability right there. Um, but that's okay. Everything's good. And there's this king. And he's still he's still doing well here. I guess the king's going to have to um, he's going to have to roll in here. But it looks like to me, if you look at this attack, it looks like it's starting to to kind of get his queens going off to the side. That's going to be a problem because she's not going to be able to get this air defense. 
And his king is not going to be able to take on all of this and get it to. So I'm sure Aaron at this time is he's trying to funnel her back in with these drags. But she's not having it. And she's going to go the way she wants to go. So he's going to have to change up his plan here, I'm sure. And you guys will see it's a very dramatic ending. But it's pretty cool. He worked it out. And you have to be ready to do that in a raid. Sometimes raids don't go textbook or they don't go to plan. But this queen is doing some work here. Look at this. Beautiful. But right here is what he does. He uh, he throws out some CC drags and the rest of his baby drags. They're going to take out this air defense. And then these guys are going to meet in the middle and they're going to crunch this base up the rest of the way. So it didn't matter that the plan kind of went a little awry. It's still a great plan. And we'll speed it up because they're just crushing everything. Look at these baby drags. Queen just went down though. But that's all right. Awesome hit. Look at all those drags. Golly. A ton of them. Awesome hit by Aaron right there. Great creativity. And that's what I'm saying. Show those baby drags some loves, guys, when you got a chance. But right now, I don't have any more baby drag hits. But we're going to show some hog love right here. And as you guys can see, uh, he's got one baby drag just to, just to have a little green in the army camp. But he's got, uh, it looks like a shattered Gohobo. And let's take a look at La Reb and see how he handled this base. Now, as you can see, this base probably could have been baby dragged. But it's what you're comfortable with taking the base out, guys. You just have to do the attack that feels good to you. But I just like to do all kind of attacks. I, that's just me. I'm comfortable with, with pretty much all of them. Except for queen walks. Guys, I hate queen walks. Anyway, here we go. They're going in perfectly. Larev uh, has funneled perfectly here. And his bowlers, they look like they wanted to walk, but they didn't. Everything's good at this point. Queen might not go in the hole, though. I can see she's uh, having thoughts about it. Uh, that's her lot in life. But as you can see here, he put the rage on him. He's got the core. The core is crushed. And he literally, at this point, he could start bringing his hogs in if he wanted to. He's he's holding off. Yep, here comes his hogs. Did a little bit of a fan out on them so that they, uh, uh, I guess, enter each defense all over the place. Kind of spread out for bombs. It's kind of old meta, but it works. It still works. And as you can see right here, there's one heel left and there the base is destroyed. So this is a great hit by uh, La Revolution, a.k.a. I Starter. Excellent hit. I'm going to speed it up. There's only two to three defenses left. He, he threw that down just, uh, just to have it down. He really could have swagged that one. Great hit. Awesome. And then we got one more hit. And this one's going to be by Ryan. Now where is that? Number 11. There it is right there. And this clan ran this base, like, they ran like two or three of this base. They must have thought this was like the best base in the world. Now, granted, it's kind of weird, but, yeah, I, I think that that was kind of crazy for him to run this base that many times. But as you can see, uh, Ryan's got a shattered uh, hobo. He's going to pull the CC. He's going to throw some goalies out here, get them, get them kind of moved in. Fortunately, the dragon locked onto the onto that. Now, where's the, where's the other goalie at? Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, so now the the CC's down. Good CC kill by Ryan. Here comes his wall breakers, and he did not throw a test wall breaker there. He just went for broke. But watch this. He's gonna open up that other pocket over there. And Brian, Ryan's about to neutralize this area here, um, right behind there. This could be a possible bomb set. So that's what he's trying to do. And look at there. There was a bomb. Then he's going to go over here, get the bow down. And now he's got two heels for those other quadrants. So here comes his hogs. And I mean, at this point, it's looking GG. And Ryan knows that. Now I'll stop right here. I was going to say there's probably bombs here, or a bomb, and he's definitely going to have to heal through that. And there you go, it was a double set, so that means 
Uh, I think, yep, that's the two double sets. So that's all the bombs in this base. And he's got another heal. And it's he knows it's a wrap at this point. King's trying to beat on him, but that's all right. The queen's behind him shooting him up. And that's going to be it right there. Look there, there's the king. He goes down. And they just got one more bow to take out. And that bow is pounding that golem, but he is not paying attention to these hogs. And he is down. We'll speed it up because it's a wrap, guys. This base is a wrap. Excellent planning, Ryan. Great hit. Uh, turned out this base wasn't invincible. Unfortunately, the other clan banked on it being that way, but that was good for us. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this baby drag and hog love. Uh, show some support. Give me a like, subscribe if you would. And thanks a lot, guys, for watching.